Alright, so this is Heroic Jaina. Um, normal Jaina is the same mechanics, just slightly different, less abilities in Phase 3. Uh, maybe some other changes. So I'm going to go over this. This is our second kill on an off night. It was super late. We were all tired. Uh, phase 1 and Phase 2 are the easier phases. Phase 3 is just a real pain. So let me show you how this works. So uh, on pull, we're going to pick up... Well, I'm going to pick up Jaina and the two adds. Uh, we just A with these adds down. Um, future adds, the priest just mind control and jump them off the boat and they all die. So freezing blast, just don't be in front of it. Now, with the changes that happened this week, I think it's this week, um, you get this stacking uh, <coughs> frost shard, I think it's called, um, debuff, and in phase one and phase two is not that big of a deal. Phase three, I had them hitting me for like 200k at certain points. Um, it's just bad. Basically, every time she casts on you, it's her auto attack, if you will. You get a stack, so the next one does more damage, the next one does more damage. And after the change, it's a real pain to deal with. Um, so she casts Avalanche on one of the tanks every time. Basically, this is a debuff that drops on the floor. And this will put out fires, but the first one, there is no fires to put out. So I just jump and glide off, jump and glide off, so I don't kill anybody else. Uh, freezing Blast, if you do get hit, will knock you back. So, there's her Ice Shard. So, in Phase 1, I let the uh, the other tank get about 9 stacks before I taunt. Sometimes I zone out when he gets like 15, but it's, Phase 1 is not that big of a deal. Uh, it will be a big deal later. Uh, also, side note, Freezing Blast will also put out fires on the boat. So, at this point, uh, there's a ship over here that you can't see. And you have to shoot that ship um, six times. So all three of the ballistas, you shoot them twice and you kill the boat. And that's a high priority because otherwise this boat will be covered in fire. Uh, rain of Ice, if you don't get out of the rain, you get ice blocked. Uh, everybody else will get rooted unless you're in fire. So we stand in fire. So when this goes off, you'll get rooted and then it's broken by uh, the fire. So she does blow us here, it means she's going to auto attack faster, so you get faster stacks. Um, you also get the stacking debuff, I can't remember what it's called. Um, when this gets to 20, you become an ice block. If you step in fire, you get rid of it. Frostbite, I think is what it's called. Say I just stepped in fire and it's gone. But I'm also dropping avalanche on the fire to put the fire out. Because I know a boat is coming in and we just clean it up and then the boat will drop more fire in the ground. So this is just a burn phase. Phase 1 is 60%. Um, for us, it's normally two rings of frost, and then we're pushing. So a bow should be coming in from the other side. Uh, the fires, if they hit the ballistas, will catch the ballistas on fire, and you cannot use them until you put them out. So I taunted. Yeah, see so right there, that uh, ballista is on fire. Um, it means you can't use it. So we're going to frost, I'm going to jump out. Stand in the fire. Now, this transitions at 60%, and I know that, and we're already at 65%. So it depends on how many fires there are. Um, if there is only a couple, I'll tell people don't put out the fires, because you want to go in the last phase with no stacks. So, we're we at 64%. So I'm going to put out a couple fires so there's more room, but I don't want to put out all the fires. Alright, so 61%, you should be standing in the fire to drop your stacks. Then we can go into the second phase with no stacks at all. So here's, uh, well, the intermission stage. So we all uh, group up here. Don't auto run because when you go in this cutscene, then you cannot skip. You can auto run off the boat and die. Alright. So this phase, you just gotta find Jaina and knock her out. And this entire time, you're getting stacks, so I think this is called Frostbite. Um, again, if that gets to 20, uh, you're frozen. So you have to get there as quickly as possible and get her out of this phase. Uh, these balls here are bad. If you get hit by these, you get instant ice block. If you stand in the other stuff, you just get stacks of frostbite. And they slow you, I want to say. So you want to keep dodging until you find her. And then um, just dodge all the ice, ice uh, balls. Now, this phase is not bad. Um, broadside. Broadside is supposed to be uh, dropped on the unexploded ordnance. 
Uh, these are frozen and take no damage, so you have to drop them on the barrels. And I think they totally screwed that up. They, they did, that's... <laughs> it's so bad. So Glacier Ray is uh, a channel cone effect. And you just don't want to be in it. So here's Avalanche in Phase 2, but this Avalanche is slightly different. This one shoots out these ice shards that are really hard to see. If you get hit by them, you get rooted and you start getting more uh, stacks of frostbite. I like it right there, I just got hit by it. And my stacks are just going through the roof because of it. So we're dropping broadside in this barrel. And broadside in this barrel. So the off tank is frozen. I'm going to get frozen. So if we're both frozen, uh, Jaina just melees and just kills everybody else. So ideally in phase 2 and phase 3, everybody is in melee range. That way, well in phase 2 at least, when these barrels break, they put a fire around, it will instantly break any ice blocks and drop your stacks. Uh, in Heroic, there are only three barrels. Uh, and there's a little exploding timer. If you're in that when that goes off, if you're not a tank, you're probably going to die. Uh, and it gives you a buff, well I guess it's a debuff, that, doesn't, that stops you from getting any stacks for like seven seconds. Um, this is Icefall. You see this giant arrow up here. Uh, this is a phase three killer. If you stay in front of it, it shoots a giant wave of ice out that does a ton of damage and gives you like 10 to 12 stacks. So in phase three, this will wipe you. In phase two, it sucks, but it's not gonna wipe you. You can watch it go off here. There it is. All right, so I was at 16 stacks and you saw me just get chunked. I actually procced LR because of it. So we break the second barrel and we drop our stacks. Uh, we break the second barrel when the boss is around 40 to 43%. Right now she's at 40. We're gonna get the debuff, go up to seven seconds and we're gonna jump out. Uh, we break the last barrel around 34%, so we can go into the last phase with no stacks. And here comes another ice fall, and you can see that there in the ground. Alright, so break the last barrel, she's at 35%. Now, up here, uh, where you came in, uh, so you jumped off the bow, so here's our bow. And you came in this way, now this is an ice wall we're going to have to break to get back out. So basically we save the last barrel to be the closest one to this wall. Broadside should be getting out of the group. Yeah, right, he is. Not very far, but whatever. Alright, so something we don't do here that we saw people doing on Mythic. Um, she teleports to the middle for this intermission phase. What we're going to be trying to do this week, because phase 3 is such a pain, uh, is we're going to have Bloodlust here, use potions, and range are going to sit on her and just DPS her down during this phase. And then melee are going to destroy the wall by themselves with Bloodlust and potions. Uh, we don't do it here, because I didn't know about the strat until Method was streaming. Um, but the idea is if you can knock off maybe 5% of her HP, going into phase 3, and it's going to make phase 3 a lot easier, because we wiped like 5 to 10% every pull when we wipe. So all those 5% pulls, if we could knock another 5% off, would have been kills. So at this point, you get to break the wall. The biggest part about this is being in position, so once you can hit the wall, um, you can just uh, break it. You're already there. Um, you do not get any more stacks of the uh, frostbite at this point, not yet. So it all will automatically fall off. So, Nathanos has to be broken out first to get out of this phase. Um, you can do a lot of different stuff here. You can focus the elemental before the, uh, the frost wall gets to you to maximize damage. Uh, we just break him out. So, basically, doing that phase, and I didn't explain it, I'm sorry. Uh, when she's in the middle, she starts casting f this frost thing that goes out around her and slowly moves out. If you get hit by it, you're instantly frozen. So, this is a DPS race to kill the wall. Get out here, break Nathaniel out or Nathanos. 
So once you break out into Thanos, he shoots Jaina. Jaina is now active again, so we have to bring the Water Elemental back out. Um, another mythic strat that we saw Method do is if you, uh, so right now we're getting sex with Frostbite. But if you interrupt her now, you can just cleave the add down and just DPS her down with zero stacks. Because right now, all this time, we are still getting stacks and it's a waste of DPS time on Jaina. Alright, so here's phase three. This is the only real hard part of the fight. So ideally, we tank her face on the wall or elsewhere, just not near people. Everybody should be grouped up behind her. Nobody should be in front, and they're going to get nailed. All right, so Orb of Frost. Basically, it's a Frost Orb that goes out, and you have to soak it, and we designate one group to do it. And then you have to run with the orb as they run out, um, because when it hits the end or runs out of charges, it explodes. The more charges it has, more debuffs it puts on everybody else. It will wipe you 100% guaranteed if you don't soak it. So uh, I send group three, I believe, to soak this. And there it is. You have to just stand in it, and it keeps getting smaller and smaller. Broadside's not using this phase, you just get it out. Uh, the hardest part, wow, it's got blown up. All right, so at this point, I was about ready to be frozen. Um, and then I had like, I don't know, quite a few stacks of the uh, frost shard. The off tank will be picking it up at this point, assuming I didn't die. Uh, but you'll see the problem here in a second. So. So I should be in an ice block right now, by the way. Alright, so what's going to happen to him is he's going to get frozen too. There, now he's frozen. So basically what would have happened if I didn't already die is I would have like 12 stacks of the frost shard. He would get frozen and since he's frozen she would automatically uh, switch back to me and start hitting me again. Which means my stacks won't have time to drop off. His stacks won't have time to drop off. So there's different ways to handle this. Um, either, well, the biggest way I, we're probably going to do it is I'm just going to die on purpose. I'm going to take it as long as I can, and then I'm just going to die. And by the time his uh, stacks should be dropped, I'm going to get a res, and then the rest of the tanking part is easy. But this is the hardest part for tanks. Uh, if you have a shaman and they take the, the uh, res totem, you don't even have to use a battle res because this always happens at this point. You drop the totem, uh, I die or the other tank dies, we get res up by the totem, don't waste a battle res, and we can keep going. So right now I have no stacks, he has stacks, so I tell him just to wait. Don't tank, I got it. Um, these ice lances, if you're frozen, the automatically spawns are shooting at people, so you don't want ice blocks grouped up. Glacial Ray. Now, group three should be standing not in the ray itself, but in the puddles to automatically to get themselves frozen early so that not everybody's frozen at the same time. But if you look here, these Frost Lancers are going to start shooting out. So, ideally, all your damage switches to the Ice Blocks ASAP. Because if that hits them, it does three times the damage. Alright, here's Ice Fall. This will wipe your raid guaranteed if you're not paying attention. So it gives you it gives whoever hits like twelve stacks. It's bad. Now here's uh, orb number two. I have a different group soak this. I think this was group two. There it is. And then once start, start, uh, the fight starts going awry, if you still have bloodlust, you want to bloodlust make her ice block. Because when she ice blocks, she doesn't do anything. The ice lenses still go out. However, she doesn't do anything else. So I, I think I call. Yeah, right, there's a bloodlust, she ice blocks. Now keep in mind, I didn't talk about this yet. She, she does summon prismatic images that must be focused down as soon as they're up. Uh, you can either have all your range switch or you can move the boss to her. We normally have all our range switch and melee sits on the boss. And this is where we lose everybody. Because these frost lances go in a straight line and hits everybody that's in, in there. Um, at this point, I think we're going to wipe again. So I make a, uh, a judgment call. I'm like, just kill her. Because she died. Well, she doesn't die. Spoiler. But she goes away. The fight ends at 5%. 
So we have 5% to burn and we're finally done with this fight. A new image spawns, but I call people to leave it alone, just kill her. So this is where if we bloodlusted uh, going into the second intermission in range could just DPS her down and do 5% damage, this fight would already be over. So this is orb 3 and you have to soak every orb. I don't think I die again though. So yeah, you should never, never get to this point. This fight is very annoying. So now there's two images up that's casting the same spells as she is. But we just finish her so we get out of here. So that is the fight. There are a lot, a lot of, lot of different mechanics to do here. Um, the biggest thing is phase one, phase two are really easy. Um, it might take you a few attempts to get through it, but once you get through it, you'll you'll rarely ever wipe in phase one and phase two. All your wipes will be in phase three, like anywhere between like six and fifteen percent, because people are getting hit by stuff. They're getting frozen. You can't get them out. They just die. It's irritating. So that is the fight. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And thank you for watching.